I take up the question of populism in countries like India. I take the Indian example because that's the one I know best. Uh, and one of the things I point out is that the, the conditions in which populism emerged in a country like India was not this. There was, there, it wasn't like there was a well-formed, well-established tradition of liberal democracy, which, which was dominant. And then you had a kind of move away, a kind of crisis of that liberal democracy. And then you get the populist movement. That's the Western story. In, in countries like India, lib liberal democracy, first of all, although India is often advertised as one of the great success stories, uh, but we know uh, liberal democratic institutions were very fragile. And in any case, uh, they were more well established in terms of practices and institutions among a relatively small urban middle class, what you might call civil society in, 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 in the urban sectors, uh, and a very large part of the population who actually were citizens formerly had voting rights, participated in elections, but were never considered and included as part of this liberal uh, body of citizens. And so this distinction produced a sense, a kind of political practice that was very different. Although there were political parties and leaders and they followed many of the established practices of Western democracies, the, the actual political content ended up being very different. This is the uh, form that I consider as, uh, I, I describe as, as populist politics with parties and leaders. And India has a history of at least 50 years of this kind of uh, uh, populist political experience. 